Hey internet, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my April bullet journal setup video for you and I'm so excited for this one because I legitimately really love the theme. I was really experimenting when I was filming this and I'm surprised at how good it turned out, at least in my eyes, I think it turned out pretty well. Every time I try something new and it turns out pretty okay, I wanna push myself and try more things. So the theme for April is clouds, as you can see. I decided to go with clouds because April, I'm actually going to be traveling a little bit and I just felt like it was really appropriate. I don't know if you guys know, but I actually have a travel channel called Two Wanderers that Tobias and I share together. I'm still in the process of uploading, I think, vlogs that date back to 2013 or something like that. So it's pretty backdated. The channel isn't meant to be anything special, I suppose. It's really just a diary of travel vlogs that Tobias and I put together and we just wanted it to be on the same channel. But if you do watch those vlogs, then you'll know the outro is a moving shot of clouds. And I actually filmed that on my iPhone and every time I travel, I always think of that scene. It's just so relaxing and calming. So yeah, I decided to go with clouds and I tried to mimic that outro in my front cover for April. The technique I wanted to go with was using watercolor pencils to first outline the clouds. I felt that that would give it a much more softer look than trying to outline it with ink or anything like that. So I didn't want to do that kind of harsh clip art look this time. I really wanted to go soft. So I outlined them with watercolors first. I used a variant of two blue watercolors because I wanted a bit more definition and depth where some clouds are a little darker and some clouds are a little lighter and fluffier. And after that, I went over them with my watercolor pen just to kind of soften the edges and blur it out. However, I noticed that it wasn't really as strong as I was hoping. It didn't really stand out as much. So I did have to use my own watercolors and kind of add to those edges. And I just kind of bled that out towards the middle of the cloud. I don't know if that makes sense, but I hope that makes sense. I think it just kind of defined the clouds a little bit better and it gave it a bit of that like soft fluffy look. So I was really impressed with how it turned out. I was actually really happy with it and I really want to release stickers like this now. I'm just really not sure how to go about that just yet. I can't get over how much I really love that feeling of being in the clouds. It's just such a unique feeling that you get when you're on a plane. So the next page we have is my sleep tracker. Very, very similar to last month's sleep tracker just because I love how that turned out and I think I'm gonna stick with this design for a couple more months until I get sick of it, I suppose, but I love it so much right now. I can't see it ending anytime soon, but I like incorporating whatever theme I have into the sleep tracker and it's, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. I'm sure you understand what I mean, but that the layout emphasizes nighttime sleep, but it still carries the theme throughout it. So this one was pretty simple because it is clouds. I just had to throw a couple of clouds in there and then kind of give it a nighttime feel. It's a lot lighter than the one I did last month. I decided just go for a lighter, fluffier, softer look just because of the clouds. And the next page is actually my mood tracker. And this one I struggled with. I wasn't sure if I was going to do like 30 individual clouds. And I thought I would do that, but then I just felt like I was doing the same thing over and over again. Like the last few mood trackers I've had has literally just been drawing the one piece of clip art multiple times and just filling that out. I decided to borrow some inspiration from the title page and just kind of drew a bunch of clouds and just surrounded the title that was in the middle. And let me tell you, this required a lot of planning because I didn't count as I was drawing all 30. So I know that as I was drawing this out, I had like... I think I counted like 33 clouds and then I had to merge them to kind of bring it down. And then in the end, I over merged them and I only had 29 clouds. So I kind of threw in a 30th one right at the end. Next page is my meal prep. It's actually going to be a short month for me because as I said, I'm going to be traveling. So I'm only going to meal prep for the days I go to work. So I think I have three more weeks of work and then I'm going on leave, which I am so excited for. You don't even know I'm so excited. And I'm just carrying across the cloud theme, drawing clouds for each of the weeks that I'll be meal prepping in. The dimensions are very similar to what I had last month, just to keep it consistent. And yeah, there's really nothing special about this page. For those of you who are curious, my meal prep is really more about the lunches I make each day. I bulk make my lunches on the weekend and I freeze them. And I alternate them a lot because I get a lot of comments about people saying, don't you get sick of eating the same lunch? And yeah, I would. That's why I have to freeze my meals so I can rotate them so every day in the week I can eat something different. Okay, the next page is just my time tracker. Last month I tried to combine my habit and time tracker together and I kind of like that but I also kind of wanted to separate them a little bit more so I decided to just do one page to focus on my time tracker and I centered it a little bit more than I usually do. Usually I have it like left aligned but this time I decided to put it right in the center of the page just so it looks a little bit more even and just throw a few clouds on to keep that theme going. 
Okay, next page is my habit tracker. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I've had a very specific template for habit tracking. And honestly, I love that template, but I was just getting a little sick of it. It's becoming very same, same for me. And I really just wanna experiment with lots of different techniques and different styles. So I decided this style where I, it's kind of like a calendar view where I draw the month, several times for each habit that I want to track and let me tell you this took me a little while that the camera actually shut off as I was filming this part so I just continued on and then I started the camera up when I was finished to try and carry the cloud theme rather than drawing clouds on top of each I just used the watercolor pencil and scribbled out a little bit of blue on top of each month then I used my watercolor brush to just blur that out to make it a little bit softer as that was drying I wrote down my habit title and then I went back and just wrote the different habits I was going to be tracking and I think this month when I do hit one of those habits I'm just going to like circle or color in one of those dates I haven't really decided yet how I'm going to mark that into the calendar but yeah I figure I will get to it when I do Awesome. Okay, so the page next to that is going to be my packing page. I think last year I did two travel pages as well where I basically just jotted down my entire pack list. I wanted to do something similar, but not exactly the same because I was, again, getting really tired with the layout for it. So I went with something really simple. I basically drew out three clouds that kind of sectioned off the things I needed to do for my travel. The first one is a bunch of to-dos I need to do before I leave. The one in the middle is all my carry-on luggage. And then the one at the end is all my check-in luggage. Finally, we are on to the calendar monthly view. Wow, I feel like it's taken a little while to get there, but it also could be because as I'm filming this voiceover, my cat, I don't know, I think my cat's a little annoyed that I keep talking so much, so she has been a little temperamental jumping up and down. So hopefully I can finish this voiceover very quickly. But yes, the last page is our calendar view. There is nothing new about this. If you've seen it in every other plan of me, then you've seen it. I am just going to add the cloud theme at the bottom with April. It's exactly the same theme. I just wanted to carry it right through. That is pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. This is Selena reporting for my room. Back to you internet. Bye.